All right, so uh, this is going to be a tutorial on Luis Skip in Crash 4. Uh, the skip is applicable in uh, every category besides the flashback tape categories, obviously. Uh, just in uh, different scenarios, essentially. Uh, there's a couple things you need to know with this skip. Um, the first thing is that um, if you're doing a completion category like all clear gems, um, when you do this skip, it puts you in a state where the game thinks you're dead, and because of that, your crate counter doesn't increase anymore. So you have to be sure that when you do this skip, you have destroyed every crate in the level manually, including nitros. Uh, thankfully, most of the nitros in this level are next to uh, other crates that will blow them up. Like, there's a bunch of nitros in the gem path that are next to TNTs. So as long as you trigger those TNTs, you'll be fine. But these two nitros right here on the first side scrolling section, uh, you have to manually detonate with a damage abuse, which is why I'm starting with the tutorial over here as opposed to at Luis. Uh, yeah. So if you're doing if you're doing uh, all clear gems, and just make sure you do that. Um, and then after that, you don't really have to worry anything about anything until you get to Luis. Okay. So now we're at the right before the fight with Luis herself, this is where we're going to do the skip proper. There's still a couple other things you need to know about this skip before you do it. Uh, the first thing is that uh, we believe it, you like there's an input you, you are aiming for that we believe is frame perfect. And because of that, this skip is easier the lower your frame rate is. So if you're on the PC version like I am, then you can just go into your video options and drop your FPS to 30 for this, and it makes it a lot easier. Uh, if you're on the Switch version, then your FPS is just at 30 anyway. Um, if you're on any of the other console versions, how easy or difficult this you're going to find this is really just going to depend on what version you're on. Um, it's possible on things like PS5 and PS4 Pro, which run at 60 FPS, but uh, the, the threshold for it is uh, tighter. Um, other things of note is that if you're doing a completion category, uh, this does count as a death. So, for all clear gems, you have three shots of this before uh, you have to fight Luis. Because if you die a fourth time, then you're not able to get the gem at the end of the level that, that you are rewarded for dying three or less times. If you're doing 106% or 100%, then you cannot do this skip on one of the two visits of the level. Uh, because you need the insanely perfect relic, and doing the skip counts as dying. So... Generally, what you would likely do is that you would fight Luis on the first visit, and then when you revisit the level for the inverted levels, um, then you would do the skip. Um, one final note is that this involves a lot of pause buffering, and as a result, there's a, like a lot of flashing lights. If you're sensitive to something like that, I would honestly recommend not doing this skip, and if you're watching somebody run the game, probably look away while they're doing it. Um, it's... Uh, it's not a gigantic time save. The skip, we estimate, probably saves somewhere in the range of 15 to 20 seconds, realistically. It can save more if you do everything perfect, but there's so many factors going on that it's just not likely. Um, so this isn't really, like, a make-or-break skip, uh, if you're just starting out, or if it's, like, not something you're able to do effectively. Um, don't worry too much about not being able to do it. Uh, so, yeah. But with that, um, we'll just get into it. So... What we're gonna aim to do here is that on the jet board, we want to get onto it, and then we want to go just a little bit forward to the point where Luis appears. And then when Luis's tentacle uh, emerges from the water, the way I do this setup is I wait for it to emerge completely, and then I start charging at it with circle on the jet board. And then before I hit it, I pause with the touchpad, or the the equivalent on Switch is the minus button. I'm not sure what the equivalent on Xbox is. Um, but whatever you do to open up the level select menu, uh, and then what you're going to want to do is that you're want, you want to pause buffer pressing both the touchpad and the circle like this. And if you do it correctly, when you, if you pause buffer while you collide with Luis's tentacle, uh, you will see the visual cue of the explosion, but you'll still be able to pause, which is something you can't normally do while, while you're in the middle of a death animation. So... Let's see if I can get that. So I'll just go for it a little bit. And then this might not work. Okay, there I got it. So you saw that the, the explosion started to happen. Uh, that was kind of a slow uh, pause buffer, uh, but it was a very safe way to doing it. 
So you see, I'm on the pause menu despite the fact that I've begun a death animation. So here, this this next step is very important. If you mess it up, you can end up in a situation where you fail the skip, but when you try it again, you have no control over the jet board, uh, and you're only able to just very slowly cruise forward. Um, so what you want to do here is on this pause menu, you want to press triangle, uh, or whatever the equivalent is on uh, other consoles. And what that does is that in this game, when you're in a death animation, pressing triangle speeds up the time it takes to respawn, so it immediately triggers the fade to black into the respawn. Um, so on the pause menu, when you press triangle, it buffers that input, and then from here you can unpause and immediately slide spin forward and slightly to the left. So I'm going to unpause, and you see here. So I, you can see that I, I died, the death counter went up. Um, but I still have control in this weird like zombie state where I'm just floating around um, So you don't want to do anything here like you don't want to body slam you don't want to like do anything else uh, If you do that you can end up in the water and you'll be soft locked because you can't jump so what you want to do is That you see that fence to the left of Luis you want to go over to that fence and kind of like force your way over it like that and then get behind Luis and body slam so now I am now behind Luis, and all I have to do is walk forward and exit the level. And that is Luis skip. Uh, yeah, so this is definitely probably the single most complex run, uh, skip in the entire run in terms of like how to do it. It's not the hardest skip, but it there's so many factors to it that it's very confusing to understand how exactly it works. So if you're not understanding this, even after watching the video, just don't be afraid to ask any questions in like the Crash uh, HD speedrunning server. Um, we'll be more than happy to help you figure out how to do this properly. Uh, but yeah, that is Louis Skip. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.